Hundreds of visitors pass through Shakespeare's birthplace every day, but they probably wouldn't even have come to visit Stratford, let alone this iconic house, were it not for a very important man. David Garrick was the leading actor of the day. Garrick loved Shakespeare and sought to celebrate his hero in the very town of his birth, here in Stratford-upon-Avon. It was thanks to the Garrick Jubilee of 1769 that Stratford-upon-Avon became a place of pilgrimage for Shakespeare lovers. For the first time in recorded history, hundreds of people descended on Stratford-upon-Avon to celebrate its most famous resident, and all because of David Garrick. Although some of his friends, and indeed the press, didn't really like the Jubilee all that much. For one thing, the three-day festival was supposed to tie into the 200th anniversary of Shakespeare's birth. It was, in reality, five years too late. To add to the tardiness of the Jubilee was the astoundingly dreadful weather. The streets were flooded from the excessive rainfall and the pageant had to be called off. Now, to add insult to injury, Stratford was so small and modest a town that it couldn't handle the influx of visitors. Roads and infrastructure weren't effectively put into place here till the middle of the 19th century. Notwithstanding the washout and the poor press, this once forgotten market town suddenly became something of a tourist destination. Slowly and surely as visitors found themselves on Henley Street, a souvenir culture sprang into existence. Before Garrick there was much less interest in Shakespeare as, as a human almost, you know. Um, he was seen as this great genius who was sort of untouchable, but Garrick wanted to bring it back to Stratford, back to his hometown. And he really put Stratford on the map, if you'll forgive the cliché. So people were visiting a lot more, um, and I think increasingly in the 19th century, people were buying things a lot more and wanted to have souvenirs. Travels to Stratford continued into the 19th century until the house on Henley Street was put up for auction in 1846. When it was purchased by the Shakespeare Birthplace Committee in 1847 for the sum of £3,000, it officially became known as Shakespeare's Birthplace. Visitors to Shakespeare's Birthplace at this time would have noticed a vast improvement in the quality of the roads in Stratford. This was because the town's infrastructure was designed around the birthplace. For a long time, Stratford had a reputation for being unsanitary and distinctly old-fashioned in their habits. Garrick famously described the town as the most dirtiest, unseemly, ill-paved, wretched-looking place in all Britain. The conditions got so bad that the Board of Health intervened in 1847, the same year as the purchase of the house. By 1855, Stratford had a functional sewer and a neat Henley Street. Although the purchase of the house and the transformation of the town happened long after his death, it really was Garrick who drew Shakespearean's attention to Stratford on a wider scale. 